In our last lesson, we looked at how you can create a singly linked list in which you maintain a reference to the tail node allowing you to add new items to the list in constant time. This is how it is done in most runtime libraries, for example for Java and C Sharp. However, just in case your interviewer asks you to implement it without maintaining a reference to the tail node, you can do that and we will look at that in this lesson and demonstrate its impact on the add method. So let's jump right in. Here we have the linked list data structure that we created in the previous lesson. Fundamentally, we have the type defined for the linked list node and the entire responsibility of the linked list data structure is to maintain the head node and the tail node. Now the lazy implementation of the linked list data structure works without the tail node. So let's just go ahead and delete that and see its impact. Now the first impact that we see is within the add method. At any point when we were assigning to the tail node, we were essentially ensuring the tail continues to point to the last node in the linked list. And we can simply delete that as we're not going to maintain it anymore. Now the other usage of the tail member over here is to allow us to add the new node quickly to the end of the linked list. Since we no longer have a reference to the tail, we essentially have to start our search from head and go from dot next dot next to next, eventually till dot next is null. And then we have found our tail and we can add the new node after it. And this is the key reason why we were maintaining the tail so we don't have to do this search. But now that the tail is gone, the runtime of this function goes from O of 1, which is constant time, to a full search, which is linear time or O of n. And now the other error that we see is on the dq function. And the only thing that we are maintaining over here is that when we run out of items because of dequeuing the last value, we also want to set tail to null. And since we are no longer maintaining the tail, we can simply delete this line as well. As you can see, there is not much code complexity difference between maintaining or computing the tail. However, there is a performance difference, which is why I prefer the with tail version. If you enjoyed this lesson and would like to see more coding tips, then smash that like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.